First things first, if you're buying any games on Switch, do save 10% over at switchup.gg. Just use code SWITCHUP when you buy your eShop vouchers. It is region locked, but you can use a VPN. I just didn't tell you that. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome back to Switch Up. You know me well enough. You can tell there's excitement in my voice, and no doubt there are some of my favorite games of all time on sale for their lowest ever prices. And that just makes it a heck of a lot more fun to create these videos. Now I've been digging through the eShop, playing some of my old games, and seeing which ones I think might be best for you to pick up today. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed to the channel recently. We had our biggest ever month for Switch Up last month, which is unbelievable. And all that's left to say is, <laughs> sorry backlogs. What is on sale? Well, let's find out. First up, and let's start with one of the absolute goats. One of my favorite games on the Nintendo Switch and one of my favorite top three games of all time, actually. It's Disco Elysium, The Final Cut, which over here in the UK is at its cheapest ever price. It's 40% off, taking it down to £21.59. That's an incredibly good price. In the US, you're not completely left out. If you want to buy the physical version, that's $29.99 at GameStop and Walmart. But if you don't own this one, I strongly recommend it. It's not one that I would pick up based on images alone I personally would need a review I'd need someone to say hey this is special and that's exactly what this is the music is made by a British band called Sea Power they used to be called British Sea Power but that changed I'm not entirely sure why but it has a haunting soundtrack it's an incredible game the writing is immaculate and the writers themselves actually experience a lot of the anxiety, depression and suicidal um, themes that come up in the narrative. There are hundreds of different choices you can make. A lot of the game is played out like an RPG, but it's internalized. So you have to put points into different characteristics on your character. It's just incredible. I'm always banging on about it. I don't want to go on too much, but at this price, just add it to your collection and then we'll chat about it next week. You can say I haven't stopped playing it. It's just... It, oh man, awesome game. Then we've really got the big hitters over on the US side and it's only fair as I promised that I cover a lot of those because well, we did it for the EU one. So yeah, it's only fair. First up then we've got Dark Souls Remastered matching its lowest ever price down to $20. It very, very rarely goes on sale. This is the time to buy it. It still holds up to this day. It's completely free roaming. You choose your character. You can go wherever you can essentially um, wherever you're good enough to get to. And as I always say, it's nowhere near as hard as people would tell you. There are different character classes. There are loads of different weapons and gear and items to find. There's secrets hidden all over the shop. And it's just, well, I guess it's a game that really every gamer should experience, whether you like it or not. It's one of those pivotal games. Now, Dark Souls didn't start it. We were there's, There were games before this, but on Switch, this is the one, right? This is what you have. To test the difficulty, I actually put Glenn on this one and he had his first ever go on a Dark Souls game and he was fine. He, he didn't die for about the first hour, which was pretty damn impressive, but it just goes to show, yeah, not quite as tough, especially some of the later games, you know, like things like Sekiro, like my goodness, the difficulty is so much harder. This sale goes on until July the 7th and it's half price. Let's just create a list of all my favorite games on Switch. Then we've got Ease 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. I preferred this to Ease 9. The setting, being on that island, having to gradually build up your party, your crew, your base camp, and then spreading out, moving across, fighting dinosaurs, all kinds of different creatures. It's that action RPG combat that I like as a, as a grumpy old bloke that doesn't have time for turn-based a lot of the time. And the interactions between the characters, plus it's a bit of a tearjerker at times. I love games like that. And to be honest, that's probably why I like RPGs so much. You really get hooked into the story. Very long, well, not very long. You're looking at, well, I guess it's quite long. About 40 to 60 hours just to finish it. And it's 67% off, taking it down to $19.99. If you missed the video I put out last week called The Resurrection of Baldo, or Baldo, well, we went back and looked at the original release, which was a mess, and then we looked at all the updates the developers have done, as well as a completely free new story mode. Go check out that video. I'll pop a link to it, one of those little clicky boxes at the top of the screen, maybe, if not in the description, and it goes through everything that's been fixed. It's still not a perfect game, but for a small man two, two dev uh, team, it's well worth picking up now. It's 30% off, taking it down to £15.74 or your regional equivalent. And it was just so nice to see a developer go back and put the time in that was needed. It's 1.6 gigabytes and it's about 50 hour long adventure plus the new free DLC story mode.
Then we've got the outstanding Castlevania Anniversary Collection. This is one I've picked up. I was really keen. I mean, the amount of videos we've done, you know that Glenn is the aficionado, really, when it comes to old school games. But I haven't played Castlevania, and that is, uh, I believe it might be a sin. So I bought these, three quid, £3.19, 80% off, a ludicrous price for some brilliant games. And I've been having an absolute blast. It's funny how some things just don't really age. Well, they age, obviously but they, they're still really enjoyable. Um, and the same goes for the Contra Anniversary Collection. That's also £3 or just over, and they're definitely worth it for that silly price. If you want a little slice of gaming history, then, uh, yeah, check those ones out. You're looking at... Uh, quite a good chunk of game time to complete them and a download size of 1.4 gigabytes and the contra collection you're looking at just over a gig so they're not going to take up a huge amount of space i feel like there's going to come a time where i do one of these videos and it's like yeah the game's at its new lowest ever price it's completely free i think we actually did have that with one game but anyway immortals phoenix rising the gold edition 75 percent off the cheapest it's ever been particularly here in the uk but also in the us regions and it's a massive amount of content a really enjoyable bit of a zelda clone with the Greek God style, but it works. It feels a bit like an Assassin's Creed game with the combat, except you've then got the gliding mechanics ripped straight out of Breath of the Wild, as I say. Not everyone liked it. Um, it didn't go down as well with everyone, but there's a group of us that just thought it was brilliant. If you're a fan of those open world type experiences, then yeah, this is one that I would suggest checking out. You're looking at about a 16 gigabyte download though, so it's quite a chunky one. Make sure you've got enough space. Phenotopia could be classed as a hidden gem on Switch. It's very much based on old school Zelda 2 and it's an incredible game, really enjoyable, made by a very small team. Another one that launched with a few bugs and issues but has seen a number of patches. But even so, I mean, I think I scored this one in the 90s and it's easily worth that. We've got a number of different uh, weapons, a very, very cool character, a nice storyline a brilliant 60 song soundtrack and a long long game you're looking at about 30 to 50 hours and it all fits into just 986 megs yeah really good well worth checking out and on sale as well in all regions at half price Another excellent game is Ender Lily's Quietus of the Nights. This is at its lowest ever price, 30% off, about 15 quid, and a 1.9 gigabyte download. This is more of a manageable size Metroidvania. You're looking at around about 20 hours, I guess, in total. It has a very cool story whereby the guardian of this girl acts as the weapon in the game. There are lots of different skills to to test out, and you can also customize your statistics with different relics that you'll find. And I guess it's going to appeal to Souls fans, people that like things like Death's Door as well, Blasphemous. And as we've... I should have said most of these this sale goes until the 6th of July the rest of these are going to be about the 7th A hidden gem then, at least for this week on Switch, is going to a game called Getsu Fumaden. I'm totally... St <laughs> that's not how it's pronounced. Undying Moon. Now, I played through quite a chunk of this one because I was planning on reviewing it, but then other things came up. I might give it more of a mention in our new series where we look at six interesting games we've been playing but there's a real fluidity to the combat where it's about timing and almost planning out the movements you're going to make and apparently the visual is inspired by the japanese yukio e art style and it really does look incredible now on switch when it first came out there are a couple of performance issues it did receive a patch recently i haven't gone back to it but i, I guess that's one i need to go back to just to try out and, and see if it's improved it was okay it just um there were a few little bits and bobs to iron out it's got a very cool weapon enhancement system and you can actually craft i believe your own weapons now i must say because people want to know this is a roguelike and for many that's kind of a hack and slash roguelike second you hear roguelike you put off because there's so many of them but if you're after something a bit more unique then yeah 
consider this one. You lucky people over in the US have got maybe the best JRPG on Switch at the moment on sale. It's Dragon Quest 11s Echoes of the Elusive Age or of, a, of an Elusive Age and it's a brilliant game. It even has a mechanic where you can switch to um, like a 2D view, like an old school view of the game. And while it's not on sale here in the UK, the physical is 20% off over on Amazon and Argos, so maybe consider those. It's an absolutely huge title. I thought I'd finished this one after about 60 hours, and it like, it did that thing where it kind of feels like it's winding up and then it suddenly opens up and you're like no surely not but you know i was more than happy to carry on i still haven't finished it which is just ridiculous but it's just there's too many games to play but i still highly recommend it it's 13 gigs so you're going to need a good bit of space and the physical can be found on sale as well pretty much everywhere so if you'd rather just buy it physically then go for that not everyone's cup of tea but i loved Eastwood. I guess if you're someone that can't handle um, lots of story, lots of exposition, to the point where I guess if you're a certain character type then that exposition is too much to a fault because you just want to get on with the action then just ignore this one completely. If you're someone that prefers JRPGs though that are story heavy, this kind of caters to that while still having the um almost like top-down Zelda feel to it. You've got a frying pan as a weapon, you get a flamethrower, some other bits and bobs. But it's a relationship between these two characters and it has a almost a macabre atmosphere to it. It's got a brilliant soundtrack as well. And yeah, that relationship between John and Sam at the heart of everything is what made it, what made it work and what made it a little bit special for me. If I remember correctly, there were a couple of moments, in fact, a few moments, are especially around boss fights where the performance dipped down. Uh, I think it's had a patch maybe since launch. Someone let me know in the comments, but even so, it's it's well worth it. Twenty percent off, taking it down to nineteen dollars ninety nine across everywhere, physically, um, wherever you want to get it. Unfortunately, over here in the EU regions, well, there's no sale. So sorry about that one. But I did mention to someone that when this came up in the US, I would mention it again. I wanted to put another one to avoid. Um, and then suggest something that you shouldn't avoid. But I just want to tell you that Tiny Barbarian DX, one of the best co-op games Glenn and I have ever played, is currently half price. You should buy it. You might not like this visual style. You should still buy it. It's an incredible game for one or two players. It's only 159 megabytes. And I don't think there's been many that we've enjoyed as much as this one. Maybe Volga, Volga the Viking. That was another classic. But that one's not on sale at the moment. This is a really enjoyable really enjoyable um, hack and slash combat platformer with a great chiptune soundtrack and just some brilliant boss fights. Highly, highly recommend it. And that is it for this week. Now I know there are loads more games on sale. There's loads of brilliant picks. But if I just had to buy, what, 12 games? Uh, or ish then i think these are a good 12 games there's some good choices here a bit of a something for everyone as always do save 10 percent using our discounts if you're going to buy any games save 10 percent. i know loads of you do seems to be the, the same people coming back time and time again um, go to our website switchup.gg and use code switchup thanks to our subscribers to our patrons to all of you really you are a solid bunch we have very minimal douchey comments and that's much appreciated and all that's left to say is for all things switch all the time. Keep it switch up. Cheers, guys. See you.